really get a better place. It'll take creation, imagination. Try to draw a Hi, this is Mary and Megan from Mary Stamping Happenings. Thanks for visiting today. Today we're going to be doing a card, a birthday card. The supplies we're going to be needing are we're going to be using Bring on the Cake and Mixed Bunch for the stamp sets. We're going to be needing Pool Party, Primrose Petal, and more mustard in Classic Ink. We're going to be using the Afternoon Daydream Simply Scrapping Kit and some of the components in there. We're going to be needing an 8.5 by 5.5 Primrose Petal cardstock. We're going to be needing three 3 inch Whisper White pieces of cardstock. We're going to be needing one 3x3 three three more mustard and one 3x3 three three pool party. We're going to need from the Afternoon Daydreams kit a 4 inch by 2.5 inch of the Designer Series paper. And the little Rick Rack embellishment stick-ons we're going to need a 4 inch piece of that Rick Rack. We're going to need some silver brads. We're going to need the Blossom Punch, the Decorative Label Punch, Mini Glue Dots, Stampin' Dimensionals, and we're going to need our paper piercing tool. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold the Primrose Petal card stock in half. And then with Primrose Petal ink and two of the small blossom stamps, we're going to just ink that up with Primrose Petal and stamp a background on that. And again, if you're doing this, you don't have to stay on the cardstock. You can just stamp off or stamp any place. It's just to give it a little more pop. Then on the Whisper White, the three pieces of Whisper White, and one of the big blossom punches or stamps, we're going to ink up one in primrose petal and stamp it. We're going to ink up a more mustard one. Stamp that. Then we're going to do a pool party one. And making sure I clean between them. And then what we're going to do is going to do is we're going to take the blossom punch and we're going to punch out these. And again, remember to use the blossom punch upside down so you can see what you're punching out. that aside. 
Then we're going to line up the flowers that you just punched out right in a row on top of each other. Use our paper piercer right in the middle. Put a hole and attach a silver brad. I like to have the color of the cardstock on top, so I'm putting Primrose Petal on top. Just attach that. Okay, then we're going to take the Pool Party with the Pool Party ink, and we're going to ink up the stamp from Bring on the Cake that says so many candles so little cake and we're going to stamp that in the middle of the pool party and then what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the decorative label punch and we're going to punch out that same. Then we're going to take the more mustard and just punch out a blank decorative label. Okay, and then with our stamping dimensionals, we're going to put a couple of stamping dimensionals on the back of that pool party and we're going to offset it. Since they're the same size and you want to give a little dimension, you can offset it either this way or this way, and that gives it a little dimension and a little shadow. So, this is what we're doing with that. Okay, and then on the primrose petal, we're going to take our piece of designer series paper from Afternoon Daydream, and we're going to attach that to the top of the primrose petal of the card front. And we're going to use stamping dimension or mini glue dots to attach that. And just center that. So there's a little bit of the pool party. Then we're going to take our four inch piece of rickrack and we're just going to put that right underneath that. Just like that. Then two more dimensionals on the back of that more mustard. And we're going to attach that to the bottom portion, just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our flowers and we're going to move them around so they're not all lined up, just like that. Then we're going to take our top one and we're going to just roll it a little bit. You can use your paper piercer if you would like and it will roll a little bit easier. What you want to do is you want to roll the top one a little more than the second one and you don't even want, you don't even need to roll the bottom one. Let that be just the, the same. So there we go. We're just adding a little bit of more pop to it. And then we're just going to go and just go like that. And just separate those, the second from the bottom, the middle from the bottom. Make sure they don't line up so you can see all the colors in there. Then we're going to put three or four, maybe five glue dots on the back of that so it holds really nicely. And we're going to stick that right on the top. And there you go. There's a card Thursday. Thanks for visiting. Happy stamping. Get about a place It'll take creation